Hey guys, welcome on in. My name is Mo. If you know me from Twitch, it is lovely to see you. And as you know, I love you very dearly. If you are from YouTube, I hope that we can be on friends and it is lovely to meet you. I wanted to take a couple seconds before the video just to let you know that this video has been sponsored by gportal gportal is a server hosting company they do everything from minecraft to valheim and it is actually where i host my community server as well as some other projects that i use for my streaming if you are interested there will be a link down below that you can uh, save 5% on your server fees if you use the referral code that is attached to the link. So all you'll have to do is click it and go. I will say it is super easy. The server that we are playing on today, it literally took me minutes to set up. And then I realized I forgot to whitelist myself, but that has nothing to do with the server host that has to do with me being a dingus. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys really enjoy Minecraft 118 Caves and Cliffs Part 2. Oops. The meadow is the beautiful new flowered felt biome. So here I nestled in a modern house made out of concrete and oak with a little garden outside. This features the best of both worlds of organic and modern. Inside we have a cute little sitting room with a nice big TV, plenty of storage as well as a fully outfitted kitchen with plenty of cabinets, a sink and a smoker. Then upstairs, we have a beautiful bedroom that has plenty of space for all your belongings and an external balcony. Nestled in the grove is a quaint little cottage. This cabin is made out of a lot of wooden materials to add warmth in the chilly snow. We have a simple, basic living area when you first enter that has our grand fireplace and a nice place to sit and warm your toes. Then, if you go up the stairs, you will come into the bedroom, which has lots of storage as well as your sleeping quarters. Then, if you go outside, we have an open patio slash deck that holds our barbecue grill as well as some furnaces for smelting. In the frozen peaks, we have a suspended station. This would be for either mining or possibly research. It is a very bare bones, basic kind of place, but out on the balcony, not only do we have all of the things we need for crafting, but we have a beautiful view. Then inside, we have all the things we need from our places to sleep, a little bit of storage, and then below we have a suspended platform for additional storage and supplies. Then out back we have a little area with some of our smelting and cooking needs. Towering high above the world in the jagged peaks is this glass cabin. While it is very small, it is very mighty. The one room cabin has plenty of features, including everything you possibly need. We have all of our crafting, smelting, and work areas, as well as our living quarters and a cozy fireplace. It'll keep you warm on those frigid frozen nights and give you everything that you need to survive. One of my favorite new biomes is the Lush Cave. In this beautiful green area, we have a tiny little modern hobbit hole. Inside the main entryway, we pay homage to all that beautiful greenery and plant life. And then we have our bedroom. In the bedroom, we have tons of storage with a suspended bed and a wall filled with barrels. And then on the back here, we have all of our crafting needs. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the video and a huge thanks again 
to G Portal for sponsoring this. Uh, if you guys need a server host, please remember there is a referral link down in the description. So if you are interested as well, I am on Twitch four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, and then Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to check it out, come and hang out. I will leave a link for that as well. And thank you again so very dearly. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a blast. So I will see you hopefully very soon.